What is up guys, King's Kane bringing you my review of WWE, the Royal Rumble 2012. Um, I probably won't do any more of these, but um, yeah, I just wanted to do this one because this is about the fucking rock. Just, just get that in your head. The rock, the WWE champion now. So yeah, I kind of just spoiled that already, but yeah, CM Punk versus The Rock. The match itself, I wasn't a huge fan of it, to be honest. Um, I thought it it could have been much, much better. I mean, if they had a, if they have a rematch at WrestleMania, then then I'll get my money's worth. But to be honest, that match was quite average. Like I found the like Alberto Del Rio versus Big Show match much more entertaining. And that's got to say something, because it's like CM Punk and The Fucking Rock versus The Big Show and Alberto de Rio. It's like, really? But yeah, um, The Shield interfering in the dark, like completely in the dark. Yeah, that was really stupid. I knew The uh, Shield would have something to do. Like, I thought they'd interfere in the Royal Rumble, to be honest. Um, I thought they might cost like Ryback or something, but I did not expect them to um, make an appearance in the match. I was kind of hoping for a clean victory. like. The Royal Rumble was meant to do, like meant to have clean victories at them pay per views. Especially when the fucking Rock's involved. Seriously, but the Rock is a champ, which is a good thing, but I don't like how they ended it. I, I would have preferred a straight singles match. And Paul Heyman, why did he keep interfering? Seriously, shouldn't have made him interfere at all. I mean, he should have been there in like, the beginning. I mean, after after the first one, he should have been just called out, like, oh, like get get the ref to say, you're out of here. Like, Jeez, it was so annoying to see. But I mean, the match wasn't bad, it just wasn't what I hoped it would be. I mean, they only had like a month of build. People keep saying like six months of build since, since the thousandth rule, but it was really just a, like a month build since since the start of January, so well what can you really expect? And you know, well the actual Royal Rumble. Do I need to get into that? Oh my fucking god. I was expecting Carly Ito and Shelton Benjamin. Seriously, why couldn't they give me Carlito and Sheldon Benjamin? I would have loved. I was literally past two days. I've been playing the songs of, hey, I spit in the face of people who don't want to be cool. Carlito. Oh god, I literally love that song, and I was just waiting, just waiting. So I was like, uh, from twenty five onwards, like really, Carlito hasn't come out yet. Sheldon Benjamin hasn't come out yet. Ryback hasn't come out yet. Randy Orton hasn't come out yet. What the hell were they waiting for? Jeez, I just like so annoyed. It really annoyed me. Um, but I would, I would say, um, oh, what was it? The shock? No, it wasn't. Uh, the Shockmaster or something? No, the Godfather. That was it. Um, never actually saw him wrestle before in my life, and he was in the like match for like a second and a half. He probably wasn't. He probably was meant to be in the match, but he probably just forgot to land or something. Ziggler doing well. He he started at number one, went all the way to the end, um, in the top four or something. Um, he, he had a good show, he had a good night. They are pushing him hard, so that was a good thing to see. But, um, yeah. Number one, Dolph Ziggler, gets a promo out, talking about how he's going to win the Rumble, the main event WrestleMania. And then, Y2J, Chris Jericho comes out, I'm like, oh my fucking god. Like, up, up until that point, I, I enjoyed the Tag Team Championship match and the um, World Heavyweight Championship match. Those are really good matches. Those are very good matches. Well, the Tag Team Championship match. Tag, tag Team Championship match, it was subpar, but still, they were good. And then when they started off with Jericho and Ziggler, I'm like, shit, this is going to get very good. I, I was feeling good at this point. And then Cody Rhodes comes at number three. Like, they're trying to do the same thing as last year, I think. But instead of, like, um, the Miz, it's meant to be Ziggler or something. Um, but yeah, I mean, Ziggler lasted the longest in the Rumble. That was a good thing to see. Impressive showing. Um, gives him more credit credentials in the Rumble. In well, as a pay-per-view man, and they had a really bad pay-per-view losing streak before. And it's good to see him. Good to see him getting better. I mean, God, really, man, really. John Cena wins again. I mean, I would have been okay if he won like eventually again, but this year of all years, like. 
I would I would I was fine with Ryback like winning. I was fine with it. The fact that Ryback and John Cena were the last two guys as well, that was completely predictable. I'm like, really? Oh god. Like the WWE is like, oh my god, it's the Breakfast Club and they're like top four or five, except for Ziggler. Jesus, like Right back is soon to become the next Breakfast Club member. You you, you will soon see. Seamus, Cena, Ryback, right top three baby said top three baby faces in the company right now. Apart from Orton. And it just really annoyed me. And I would have thought like they'd try to do something here with Randy Orton to set up his uh, heel feud with Seamus or something. Oh one thing I wanted to say, like Wade Barrett and Bo Dallas, that was a that was a really good thing I saw. But they're probably starting up Bo Dallas for an Intercontinental Championship feud with Wade Barrett eventually after the Intercontinental Continental Intercontinental Championship tournament thing that's going on. But that was a very good thing. Bo Dallas like went 20 minutes strong in that, and yeah, that was good showing by his part. And um, yeah, was it uh, Goldust and Cody Rhodes? That was a that was a entertaining bit, especially in the beginning when they were exchanging like little blows, like when they, when Cody Rhodes was just. Uh, Gets on the gets on the floor, does a little like sucker punch. That was that's an awesome. That was awesome to see. And like, yes, like <laughs> that was awesome. That was really awesome. Now, as soon as Sheamus came in, he didn't even get much of a reaction. I was surprised about that. I mean, main reactions like tonight were Y two J and like Cena sucks chance. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, Shockmaster got a moderate um, pop. Just like if if Carly Shelton and Benjamin came in, like seriously, I would have. Oh, oh, I was waiting for them to come and I'm like get David Otunga, Santino Morella, Brodus Clay, the Jobber Crew, Three Man Band, uh, PT Piers, like uh, the Jobbers, the Jobbers. Like I was really hoping for much more. And the way the way that the match finished, like it kind of felt like Ryback didn't mean to like drop that way. It's like oh, Goldust didn't even mean to drop that way. That he was his drop was like brutal. But, um. Yeah. Oh, and Zack Ryder was absolutely, like, atrocious. Like, he landed, like, head, full, full like, forehead on. And he was, like, flipping, like, 180 degrees as well. And that was, that was, that was hard to watch. But, fun at the same time. But, I mean, ultimately, John Cena has to prevail again and call freaking Superman. And, to be honest, I wasn't pumped at all by this. I'd be like, oh, man, Cena won! If I didn't already see The Rock versus John Cena for the first time, once in a lifetime match last year, if they don't do a triple threat match at Mania, then I am I will not be buzzed at all for this match, and this match will get a lot of booze. Trust me, in this match there'll be nothing but booze. <sighs> the Rock versus John Cena at WrestleMania for the strap, the WWE Championship. Is expected now. The WWE Championship match at the Royal Rumble was lackluster. The Royal Rumble match towards the end was actually lackluster. Even though it had star power, it was quite lackluster in my opinion. Expecting Brock Lesnar back in the next few weeks, hopefully. That should be interesting. And on that note, I have really nothing else to say because I was, I was hoping, really, really hoping, The Rock and Sony Punk would have a much better match. Singles, clean, clean victory for The Rock. Like, he he did been clean, but in a better match. And, like, without any shield interference or poor Heyman interference. Like, I wish C he could have defeat CM Punk cleanly without CM Punk getting any assistance. Make Makes CM Punk look like shit, and, um, yeah. And they're making, like, The Rock look like God or something, but... I mean, I, I, wanted, I wanted to see The Rock win because it's, like, such a long, such a long title reign. It got a bit boring, in my opinion, but... It just, uh, it, it was a bad move. It was a bad move. And Cena, Cena, super, he's Superman. He's Superman. Well, what can you do about it? Just really hoped he wouldn't win. Anyone. But on that note, I'm tired of complaining, and I'm gonna end it here. So, comment, rate, sub, and uh, you're probably not fans of WWE, but oh well, I, I am. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed, and there it goes.